All right, so this is another example uh, where we uh, want to understand uh, the, the details of the requirement for. So the player one moves, uh, selects out or left or right. If he selects out, the game is over. Um, and basically this is the one that is going to take the game uh, off the equilibrium path or take the information sets off the equilibrium path, I'm sorry. Um, well, if however, player one plays left or right, player two is going to choose U or D, and then player three is going to choose A, B, or C, D. Okay, so let's look at this strategy profile. Out, player one finishes the game, and then however, uh, if for some reason he deviates, player two is going to play U, um, here and you here, obviously he can't distinguish. And then player three is going to play A here and uh, C here. Okay, so here I have one, two, three non-singleton information sets. So let's call this P and this one minus P therefore. This Q, this is one minus Q. This is R, this is one minus R. Remember requirement three was telling me that uh, there should be probability distribution at each information set. And because each info set has only two uh, uh, decision note, uh, they're going to be P one minus P. However, for different the info sets, uh, the probability distributions can be different. So here, the question is, uh, does requirement, oh, according to this strategy profile, uh, in this information, the second player's information set and the third player's information sets are all off the equilibrium path. Agree? All right. But can I still use the Bayes rule? Well, here, uh, once again, uh, I cannot use the Bayes rule for two's info set. So therefore, uh, P between 0 and 1 uh, is consistent with requirement 4. Well, why is that so? Well, remember, the P is going to be, well, what is the likelihood that player 1 plays left? Probability of playing left, let's call it, divided by probability of playing left plus probability of playing right, right? I mean, there's only two way that uh, we can end up at this information set if player one plays left or right. But however, according to this strategy profile, player one is supposed to play out. So therefore, probability that he's going to play left is zero. And probability that he's going to play right is also zero. So therefore, this is zero divided by zero, which is undefined. Well, what does that mean? That means uh, if this information set is reached, well, that means player one has deviated. But the question is, if he deviated, did he deviate it to L or deviate it to R? Well, we do not have any theory about this. All right, so this strategy profile puts no theory about what player two should believe in case player one deviates. So therefore, I cannot use the Bayes rule. However, I can use the Bayes rule for player three's information sets. How so? Well, yes, player one should have deviated. If we reach to those info sets, any one of those info sets, it should mean that player one has deviated. All right, did he deviate to L? I don't know. Did he deviate to R? I don't know that either. I have, we have no theory about this. However, we have a theory about how player two is going to play. He is supposed to play U. All right. So therefore, what we're going to do, we're going to ignore player one because we don't have theory about player one's uh, deviation. So we're going to stick to our theories that we are holding, which is about player two's play. Well, he's going to play U with probability one and he will not play D. So therefore, if I end up at this decision note, I should believe that my opponent, I'm sorry, I should believe, player three should believe, I'm sorry, that he is in fact at this decision note because player two 
is or was supposed to play u. Well, symmetrically, if we end up at this information set, we should believe that uh, the player three believes that this is the uh, decision note uh, he is at. And so therefore, uh, well, why? Well, because player two was supposed to play u. All right. And so this strategy profile satisfies R4. Um, R3 is out of question because this strategy profile uh, basically leaves two and three uh, information sets off the equilibrium path. And so R3 is not valid here. R4, however, is valid because uh, these are off the equilibrium path info sets. But this strategy profile satisfies the requirement for if and only if P is a number between 0 and 1 and Q and R both are equal to 1. Otherwise, uh, that it, it is going to violate requirement 4. Okay?